Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship hath righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion hath light with darkness? And what concord hath Christ with Belial? O are what part hath he that believeth with an infidel? 2 Corinthians 6 14-15 KJV In the news today, a man rescued a woman from committing suicide by trying to jump off a bridge in the deep waters where she would have surely drowned. He is deemed a hero in his local community. That's the latest news. Signing off, I'm your host, Joe Kent. Good day. Jesus bless this home. Lord God Almighty thank you for a safe trip out today and back home. I pray over myself, my fiancé, my home car clothes and everything else you'll bless me with. I even pray for and about every stranger I meet as well as my human enemies. Help us dear Lord. And may your will be done in my life, in Jesus name Amen. Hi sweetie. How was your day? Fine. That's good. You cook anything? I'm starving. I'm sorry honey I forgot but I'll order takeout. Dear, you know I don't do takeout. I'll cook my own food then. Or you can just call the weekend maid to cook you something. Why would I call another woman over to cook for me, when you're my woman? Ah, uh, no. I just got my nails done. What do I look like cooking you something when my nails will get ruined? Why can't you cook for yourself? Are you serious? So I work all day just to come home to a spoiled fiancé who can't prepare her tired and hungry man a nice meal when he gets off work? Is it that hard to have my back? I mean, maybe I would, if you gave me a happy ending every once in a while. You are not the only one starving around here. Is that all you can think about? You can't respect my Christian beliefs and wait till we're married to make love like you said you could. If we fornicated, then and only then you would take better care of me? Babe you said a mouthful. It's not even that serious. Tifa, look at me. It is serious. I need you to be there for me, to hold me down. I want to know you got my back. You told me that you could respect my faith and my obedience to God. When we get married, I got your back. But for now, I need you to have mines. After I make you officially mines, I'll do you any which way and position you desire. What's wrong with holding me down until then? Job, you're not a virgin so don't act all high and mighty. Making love is normal. I don't want to fight with you, and yes making love is normal between spouses. Or that's how it's supposed to be. I may not be a virgin, but I gave my life to Jesus and am living to him, not to my flesh anymore. I know you can't understand, but I don't want to be unfaithful to the Lord to fulfill the lusts of my flesh just to please you. I have to do what God wants not what you want because I respect my Father in heaven wholeheartedly. You love God more than me? Yes because he's the only one to save my soul from a burning hell because he loves me. He loves you too. So while I do love you, I love God more than you, more than my parents, more than myself, more than life itself. God comes first. Sorry babe. It's fine. But since I'm not your everything, how about I be nothing to you at all? How about that? Come on don't be like that. Lord Jesus help me. And this is what I come home to. A spoiled woman who can't even cook for me, wanna be difficult, lazy and selfish and she wants to fornicate after she told me that she could handle me practicing abstinence until marriage. She knew this from the very beginning and said she could handle it but it's clear she can't lord. Why am I agreeing to marry her again? Because you love me. Twiddles. I'm gonna hang out with Kia. Wait, what about me? What am I even doing with her? Because of her looks? But she don't even believe in Jesus so do I really want to make the mistake of committing to a woman and have a family with her if she don't even respect God? And since she don't respect God she don't respect me and she probably wouldn't be a good mother. Is this what I really want? Help me Jesus. I love her, but she hasn't been treating me right for a whole year now. She don't want to learn how to pray nor come to church with me, or want anything to do with you Jesus. She puts her friends over me, she don't prepare me meals after a long day's work when she knows I'm hungry, but I let her get away with it. Help me fix this God. Hey girl. Hey. What's good with you? Same ol' same ol'. But let's grab a bar seat before someone beats us to it. 
What's up with your handsome fiancé? Is he still asking about me? Girl ain't nobody asking about you. But at this point you can have him. He's getting on my nerves. Asking me if I cooked him something just because he came back from work, as if I didn't get my nails done last week. Why would I mess them up just to feed him? He got hands. What's stopping him from using them? He's only hungry, not handicapped. <laughs> That's crazy. He def shouldn't expect you to be a maid just because he worked all day. Like what is this, the 1960s? I thought we were past that. That's what I'm saying. But aren't you afraid you'll lose him if you don't cater to him? Girl have you seen me? He ain't going nowhere. I got him wrapped around my finger. And he's still not giving you no nuki. Kia, no he's not, but yet he expects me to bend over backwards for him. No nuki no wookie. What the heck is a wookie? It's another way of saying work, but rhyming it with cookie. I'm not gonna work for him if he's not satisfying my needs. And how long you gone without getting nuki? As long as I've been with him. So about three years. Tifa. You can't be serious. Girl that's a long time where you get that kind of strength from. Wonder Woman? Superman? Waiting on his stupid behind but he better start touching me soon before another man does. He's a Christian so he's practicing celibacy until marriage. And you let him control your body like that? It's my fault for agreeing to it. Besides, he's my fiancé. Ah, uh, fiancé, not husband. You've been his fiancé for the last two years and still nothing's changed. What am I supposed to do then? Now you're asking the right questions my dear girl. Do you seek an answer? <laughs> Stop talking like that and tell me what to do. It's quite simple. What if you can have your cake and eat it too? How do you mean? You remember Tyrone? Kinda. This should jog your memory. Here's his IG photos. Oh, that Tyrone. He's still fine ain't he? He is. I knew you would like him. So what about you hang out with him for a while, you know, see where it goes. If you like him then be with him. I'm sure he's more than willing to break you off a little something something. It's not cheating until you're married and I don't see Mr. Newsman making you official anytime soon. Girl say no more give me his IG. You got it. Now that I showered and changed clothes, I'm famished and hungry. I wish I can cook but I don't know how, but maybe I'll call and see if the weekend maid can come over and cook me something even though I don't have money to pay her for today. Maybe I'll explain to her I would pay her double with her regular salary. Her food would be tasty. I have to call her. Call who? The weekend maid to cook us something to eat. Ah. So you're finally listening to me. Guess so. So, how was your day with your friends? Friend. Just one. I was with Kia and it was cool. We just talked. Okay. About anything special? Look at you all in my business. Just normal girl talk. Normal girl talk about what? She's not telling you to do anything crazy, did she? I know all about Kia. There you go. And no, she didn't tell me to do anything crazy. I'm gonna pretend you didn't say that and shower, but you better hurry up and call the maid. Hello? Oh, hi Mr. Kent. Hi weekend maid. I mean, patience. Hi patience. How are you? I'm doing good praise the Lord. How are you? That's good, and I'm well thank God. Great. Is there something you need? Yes, I do. If you don't mind, I really need you to come to my house and prepare some food for me, us. For us, my fiancé and I, for the next few weeks. No cleaning, just cooking. I know this is asking you a lot and I apologize but, I'm really hungry since Tifa didn't have time to cook me anything, as busy as we both are. Please, patience. Mr. Kent, it's no problem. I'll just need you to pick me up. The cabs aren't out tonight? Mr. Kent, with all due respect, I'm doing you a favor, so the least you can do is look out for me, your Christian sister especially since it's at night when I usually don't come out at night unless I'm returning home from your house. Also, if you want me to cook two weeks of meals, 
I'm gonna need to go food shopping for such a large order. Surely you don't want me to carry all them bags in a taxi cab, do you? You're absolutely right. I'm sorry and I'll be there to pick you up in 20 minutes. Please be ready. So now you're picking our maids up now. What's wrong with her legs, or catching a cab? Honey, let's be reasonable. We're asking her for this favor when it's not her day to work. She's nice enough to help out, and she'll have a lot of bags. She's already paying for groceries. She shouldn't have to pay any more money for coming here too. See you soon. We'll see. But she better not try anything on him. How can he be so hungry when he has a woman there? What is she doing? He said she is busy. Busy doing what? Getting her nails done? Her hair done? Busy spending his money on new clothes or being spoiled? Her being busy is the joke of the century. The poor thing. Well I'll say my prayers before heading out. Father in Jesus name I come before you. Lord, thank you for everything. May you bless me to always and only bless praise worship honor and glorify your holy majestic name with my mouth, in my spirit, my very being and in my lifestyle, always only and forever in Jesus name. Abba, I pray for a safe trip that I'm about to embark on and a safe trip back without issues, if it's according to your will. I pray for and over everybody I will come in contact with rather near or far. Please remove any curses on things and or people I'll be touching outside of this apartment, and may you bless it instead, and I pray for Job as well. Help me Jesus to be a light for your kingdom for your glory dear Lord. Forgive me my sins and help me not to seek to live in sin but to be, and stay humble to your will for my life. Bless me to repent right away if you reveal any sin in my life, and may you not lay it to my charge. Have mercy on me Abba. Come now Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me bless his holy name, and in Jesus' name I pray, Amen. <coughs> Guess he's here. Hi. Hi Mr. Kent. Thanks for picking me up. Trust me, it's no problem. It's the least I can do, but thank you for coming out on such short notice. It's no problem. I actually need the money for rent. About that. About what? Is something wrong? I don't have money to pay you right now. What? I know I should have told you and I'm sorry about that. But I promise to pay you double when I pay you regularly next week God willing. I'll call your landlord and explain the situation. Please say you still have my back tonight? Well, okay. Just be honest with me next time. I don't bite. Thank you patience you're awesome. Sorry about that. It's fine. It's just that, you're awesome and your food is out of this world delicious. Can you teach Tifa how to cook like that? I'll pay you triple from now on. <laughs> I suppose, if it's the Lord's will. I admire how you talk about the Lord. You really love Jesus, don't you? Of course. He's wonderful. Don't you? With all my heart. Wow, patience. It's so nice having a woman around who's on the same page with me in the faith. God is good. Glory to God. 30 minutes later. Jesus bless this home. Jesus bless this home. Mi casa es tu casa. Thanks. God bless you. Well, I'll go wash my hands and get dinner ready. No problem. I'll just put these bags in the kitchen for you. Guess they're here. Miss Tifa, hi. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Where's my man? I don't know. Maybe the bathroom. And how would you know? I don't, I said maybe. I'm sorry, I don't know his whereabouts. Is something wrong? Just so we're clear, the boy is mine. If you so as much smile at him, you're fired. Please Miss Tifa, don't fire me. I need this job. I know you do. Never smile at him again and you can keep your job. Do I make myself clear? Yes ma'am. Good. And as a matter of fact, don't speak to him at all except a yes sir or no sir. And no more? Miss Tifa. From now on, address me as your highness. 
Do I make myself clear, weak and made? Miss Tifa you're not better than me so it'll be hard to call you your highness. I only call my god that. Please let me keep calling you Miss Tifa. Look what you made me do. But I suggest that if you want to keep your job, P, then what do you call me? Your Highness. I can't hear you. Your Highness. What's all the commotion about? Oh, nothing, babe. We were just rehearsing this play I was thinking of auditioning for. Right, Weekend Maid? Right, Your Highness. Perfect. Fine. Will one of you ladies get me some food already? It smells delicious, and my stomach really hurts. All right, you big baby. Keep your shirt on. Weekend Maid make us a plate. Right away, Your Highness. So how long is she gonna call you Her Highness? As long as it takes, until I get my script together. Oh. Weekend Maid? You call her that behind her back. How about we show her some respect and call her by her name, Patience. I asked her if I could call her Weekend Maid and she's cool about it. You don't think it's disrespectful to call her that? No, I don't. Why do you care what I call her? Because she's doing us a favor. The least we can do is show her some respect. That's all I'm saying. She's doing you a favor. I could care less. In fact, I'm going to bed. That woman can be so difficult sometimes. Lord have mercy. Oh, hi, patience. The food looks wonderful, thank you. Yes, sir. Tifa went to bed. I guess you can have her plate if you like. Cat's got your tongue. You can tell me anything. I'm here for you, my love. Take me in your arms job, and kiss me. Kiss me passionately. As you wish, my beauty. Then she snapped out of daydreaming. Earth to patience. You okay? Oh, uh, yes sir. Thought I lost you there for a minute. You can have a seat and eat up if you like. After all, you cooked it. It's finger looking good. No sir. See you Friday Lord willing. She left in a bit of a hurry, and she's giving me one word answers. Strange. Guess I'll eat Tifa's plate cause God forbid this food goes to waste. Good, girl. <laughs> Jesus bless this home. Lord, I'm in love with him and I know it's wrong. Which is why I must tell him I can no longer work for him. Then Tifa wanting me to call her Her Highness. Lord, this evil woman even slapped me for the first time. What did I do to deserve that? Now I just have to stand there being humiliated because I'm a Christian but... I can't quit Lord because this job pays me well and it's been really helpful. Lord, what am I gonna do? Help me Jesus. <laughs> I'll pray on it. Friday. You on your way over right? On my way now sugar cakes. Cool. When he leaves I'll text you. Alright, I'm off to work Lord willing. I'll see you later. Have a nice day at work. With weekend maid's food, I'll have dinner prepared for you when you come home. Whoop whoop to that. Time to do me, before weekend maid gets here. She shouldn't be here for another seven hours. Plenty of time. I'll change into something a little more, pretty. I bet you don't hit it. Where's your faith in your boy? I'll put down $100 that I get her today. I'll double it if you do. What about you and Kia? You seeing her again? Sure am my guy. She's who I'm texting now. I'll be seeing her later on today. Showtime, my guy. She's ready for me. Thanks. You look nice. You too. Walk me to the store right quick. Yes, ma'am. You know I have my car, right? Yes, I know. I just wanted to stretch my legs a little. And those are some beautiful legs you have. Thank you. You were paying for my stuff, right? Uh, yeah. Sure, why not? So is this your first time hanging out with a black girl? Nah. My two baby moms are black women. I think black women are beautiful. Just something about you girls. 
That's what's up. I'll just pick up a couple of things before I have to go into work later on. That's Tifa, but who is that man she's with? Oh my lord. She's cheating on Job. I better leave before she sees me. How dare she? How dare she cheat on that good man like that? Treating me the way she does is one thing, but this is just plain wicked. I could never do such an evil thing to my man. I'm gonna call my friend to bring the car around. I don't feel like walking back, do you? Guess not. So here we are again. Yeah. I'll put the bags away though. Be back. Jesus bless this home. Jesus, please don't let her hurt Job, Lord. He don't deserve it. I know it's not my business and he'll probably never be mine's, but I still hate to see him get hurt like that. Dear Lord, may you set him up with a more suitable woman. A godly Christian woman who will love on him not break his heart. So this is your house? It's nice. What took you so long to hook up with me? You said it yourself. You have two baby moms. I'm not looking to be your third. Plus I got a man. But you are cute, so I can see why women want you. Is that right? Yeah. I can see you want me too, so uh, why don't we get down to business? Then let's take it to the bedroom. You got condoms, right? Condoms? Who still do that? Don't you trust me? <laughs> no, I don't. Too bad. <laughs> now, strip. Yes, Daddy. That's your news for today. I'm Job Kent, signing off. Jesus bless this car. Maybe I'll pick up some flowers for Tifa. Yeah, that's what I'll do. That was good, but you better get going. My fiancé will be back in an hour. Alright. Can I see you again? Maybe, if you play your cards right. Excuse me. Yo man, what took so long? I was about to catch a cab home. You owe me money, my guy. $300. No way. You hit it? Of course I hit it. That's what took me long. Pay up. Well don't just stand there. Don't you have something to say? How do you do, your highness? I'm here to start my shift. Is there anything I can get you? You can get the heck out of my face weekend maid. And before you start cleaning my house, you can start by cleaning up your face first. It's hideous. I'm fine how God made me, but I saw a man coming out of your house as I was making my way in. You didn't see anything. I did. I said you didn't. I said I did. I will not lie for you about this, no matter how much you slap me. Now I can call you your highness but I will not lie for you if Mr. Kent finds out. And why do you care? You love him, don't you? He's a good Christian man who don't deserve the way you're treating him. So you love my fiancé and think you'll steal him away from me and you better? Think again. You're gonna sit here and watch me treat him any which way I please, and you're gonna be a good little girl and do nothing about it. You're not even gonna speak to him except to say yes sir or no sir. Because if you tell on me, not only will you lose your job but you will lose your teeth. Don't think I won't knock your teeth out because I will. I need his money. That guy you saw is my cousin. That's the story we're sticking with, got it? Yes, your highness. <laughs> Good doggy. By the way, just because you and Job are both Christians does not mean you're meant for each other. You're too ugly to be with a handsome man like him and your clothes looks like they came from the who lost I found bin. 
I'm beautiful, and his soon-to-be wife. Can't you see me in a dazzling, sparkling wedding gown walking down the aisle to marry him? He has the money to buy me the best things in life, and you're not gonna mess that up for me. I got him wrapped around my finger, you know. You? You will never take my place, nor will you ever measure up to me, so don't try. What am I even saying? You're too ugly to pull it off anyway, even if you wanted to. Now get to work. We're not paying you to stand around. Oh, and I'm docking your pay for talking back to me. Is that understood? Yes, your highness. That's better. I'll be on my way. Jesus bless this home. God, no matter how much I tried defending myself and him, she's ten steps ahead of me. How can one person be so cruel? Jesus bless this home. Hi Mr. Kent, how was work today? Hi Patience, it was good. Thanks for asking. Of course. Well I'll just go whip you up some of my gambo surprise I made. That's that heavenly aroma I'm smelling? Yes sir. You want me to put them flowers in a vase? Could you? These are for Tifa. Is she here? No sir. She stepped out. I'll be back with your food. What a woman that patience is. If only Tifa was like her, she would be perfect. Do I tell him or not? Maybe I should really mind my own business and let him figure it out. But what if he never does? I gotta set up some secret cameras around the house first before I say something because I refuse to have a woman like her trap that good man in a lifelong miserable marriage. Yes, that's what I'll do God willing. Thank you Jesus for this wonderful idea. Give me all the juicy details. Let's just say my dry spell is over. Yeah you. More, more. I got dressed up for him then he came over. We walked to the grocery store. Cause I wanted to buy my own food, not eat Miss Weekend Maid's food my fiancé keeps bragging about that's not that good. <laughs> Go on, don't stop. Girl he paid for my food, and when we got back to my house we talked a little bit before heading to the bedroom. I did a little strip tease for him, he got undressed and we made strong, passionate love. He made me feel like a woman again, I might be in love. It was that good, you said, in love. I mean, it's been three years and I was beginning to forget how to do anything in the bedroom but he saved me. <laughs> you made him strap up, right? I ain't here you say nothing about that. Well, not exactly. But he made up for it by pleasing my every desire. Tifa. Girl wet? You really slept with him unprotected? Did you forget he has eight kids by two women already? What if you're pregnant? What if you catch something? Girl please. It's me you're talking to. I know. I'll be fine, don't worry. In fact, I'm seeing him again tonight. He's supposed to meet me here. He's bringing his friend too. See now that's my boo. Ladies. Hi. Ready? Yep. Not so fast. Where is Stanley? Look behind you. That's my cue. See you, girl. Remember to make him strap up. Have fun. We will. Come on, beautiful. Patients set up hidden cameras around the house as proof of Tifa's cheating on Job, waiting for the right time to expose her. Job found himself falling for Patience as his bond with her was stronger, not only because they were both Christians, but because they were also compatible. He couldn't tell her how he felt yet. Tifa continued seeing Tyrone behind Job's back for several months, and she continued treating Patience bad. Job never noticed it, until one day. Um. This food is burnt. It is not. Job ate the same thing and he likes it. You dare speak back to me? I'm sorry, your highness. I was only telling you the truth. His truth? Yours? It doesn't count. Now not another word and recook this disgusting food to my liking. Not too much salt. Yes, your highness. 
I said not another word. Tifa, why are you slapping her around like that? Go on. Get out of here. Because she tried to pick a fight with me after I calmly asked her to make me something else to eat. Sweetie I don't know what's gotten into her but lately she's been so mean to me when you're not around. <laughs> no Tifa, I heard the whole thing when I was walking past going to the bedroom. You're the one being mean and you're wrong for how you've been treating her. She's a human being not a dog. You make her call you your highness? Seriously? Okay you got me. I'm really sorry, it won't happen again. I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. Do I have to? You spoiled little wench. Of course you have to. Just who do you think you are treating her like that? You can always be replaced you know, so don't act like you're all that, because you're not. From here on out the wedding is postponed. I can't marry a monster like you. Job, baby you can't mean that. But you love me. I do. You can't even cook. She's been cooking delicious meals for me, stemming my intellect, praying and reading the Bible with me, a joy to be around, taking care of me, spending what little time she has with me while you're always gone for long periods of time. Do I love you anymore? That's a good question. Like I said, don't just apologize to me, apologize to her, and mean it. I'm going to bed and I don't want you treating her like that ever again. Oh no. He wasn't supposed to know I was treating her like that. I better fix this soon. I'll do a realistic apology to her then ask her to teach me how to cook. She's Christian so she should forgive me and help me. Where's Patience? Is that her outside? <laughs> I hate seeing you like this. I'll... I'll be fine. Don't worry. I'm really sorry for how she's been treating you. No one deserves to be treated like that. Most certainly not you. You're too, precious. I did speak to her about it so hopefully we'll be seeing some better changes around here. That's your fiancé, the woman you were getting married to. What if I'm having second thoughts? Because I am in love with another woman? You've been seeing another woman behind her back? Yes and no. This woman, a godsend, I see her every weekend. Both me and Tifa knows her. She's caring, sweet, helpful, she understands me, prays with me and over me and I for her, knows how to put me in my place when I need correcting, and, she's incredibly beautiful, and so much more about this amazing woman. She's a fantastic cook, and she loves the Lord which is the icing on the cake. She's the perfect woman for me. I didn't know there was another woman in the picture whom you like. It sounds like you share something special and more intimate with this mysterious woman than what you have with Tifa. I love this woman, but I'm supposed to marry Tifa. Guess I'll have to pray on it. Will you pray with me? Of course I will, but who's to say you're supposed to marry a woman you're having second thoughts about? But come, let's pray on it right quick. Just let me pull my praying veil out first. That's better. Let's bow our heads. Father in Jesus Christ's name we come before you. Lord, help me with this big decision in my heart. You know how I feel towards this woman you've brought to me. Now, I can't live my life without her. In fact I desire to marry her. I pray she accepts to be my wife. Help me gain the courage to tell her how I feel about her, and may she have the same feelings for me. Use us to be lights for your kingdom together, and let no one tarry apart what you bring together. Help me God. And in your mighty and precious name Jesus I pray. Abba, you know I desire to see Job happy and at peace in your blessings and with the right woman who knows how to treat him right. He deserves to be treated good, because you Lord have blessed him to be a good man of you. Help his heart, his decision his situation and may you take away his burdens and obstacles in his life that's stopping him from seeing the right woman that's for him. Only you Father bless us with wisdom like your word says in James 1, 5 KJV. God bless this faithful man Job, and Lord may you bless him with the desires of his heart soon, with a woman who will love him back the way he loves her. If it's according to your will, may your will be done and in Jesus name we pray. 
Amen. Amen. Wow, that was a beautiful prayer. Thank you. It's no problem. Job, I meant every word. I want to see you end up with a good woman of God who will treat you good. Well, I should get back to work. Oh, yeah sure. And I'll just, just, go to bed. I'm happy you're feeling better. Much better, thanks to you. I have to ask, do you still love your fiancé? If I'm being honest, no I don't. I love the other woman. So he don't love me anymore? He loves her? I gotta act fast before she steals him completely away. Food is the best way to a man's heart after all. That's how I'll ruin her. Babe, hi. Nice day to get some fresh air. I'm going to bed. Be nice to patients. I will. You can count on me. Weekend maid, hi. I mean, patience. Did you have a nice break? It was fine, you're high. Please, just call me Tifa. All right. I just want you to know, I'm very sorry how I treated you. It won't happen again. Please forgive me. I forgive you, but you need to be a woman of your word. I'm not an animal, I'm a human being, Tifa. Dang. Yeah, you're right. But I need your help. Let's sit and talk. I think Job is cheating on me. My word. Isn't that the pot calling the kettle black? Aren't you cheating on him? Yes, but that's because I saw him with the other woman. Please, I need your help to win back his heart. You promised to treat him right, and stop seeing that other guy. Shh. Not too loud. But I promise. Well now that's out of the way can you teach me how to cook? Your food is as delicious as Job brags about it. He brags about my food? Girl yes. I can't get him to shut up. Please teach me your ways. Okay. Do you know his favorite dish? Oh, uh? I think it's mac and cheese. No. Spaghetti and meatballs. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's shrimp and sausage gumbo with cheesy cauliflower and seasoned greens with a glass of orange juice on the rocks. I'll show you how to make it. Okay, let's go. And that's how you make it from scratch. That was a workout. You'll do fine. Just reheat the food for him when he wakes up. I have to run to the bathroom right quick. Excuse me. Let me see if she'll betray me or not. Now's my chance to poison the food. If he gets sick I can blame it on her since he knows I can't cook, then he will never want to see her again and I'll get the pleasure of firing her. Then he'll see I'm the better choice after all, and we'll have a happily ever after wedding. Ah. Now to mix it. Perfect. Why is she so evil? Better get back out there, but I'll wash my hands first. Oh look, a pregnancy test. It's positive. She's pregnant. Hey. Everything looks good. But let's throw this batch out and start on a new one. I was showing you how to make it. I want you to try it on your own now. Don't worry, I'll watch you and help you along the way. Later that night. That hit the spot. I'm so happy you like it. That was truly delicious. Where did you learn to cook like that? I can't take the credit. Patience here showed me how to make it, step by step. Really, it's nothing. I'm just glad you know how to make your man's favorite dish now. Well I should be on my way. Thanks so much for everything today, and for forgiving me how I treated you. It will never happen again. <coughs> Kia needs to see me. She says it's an emergency. Do you mind? I guess not. I'll take patients home since it's dark out. Hi. Hi. Shall we? Here's the money I promised you. Thank you. My pleasure. Well, I'm gonna head in now. Thanks for the ride. Remember to pray and fast about the woman of your dreams. I will. Can you pray and fast for me too? If it's not asking too much. Of course I will. For how long? Just three days, starting next week. I'll let you know when. Just three days. All right. Good night, Mr. Kent.
Call me Job. Please. Okay, Job. You know, if you keep hugging me, I might get used to it. Exactly. Jesus bless this home. What a day. Seems everything's turning around for my favor about Job. He seems so much friendlier and warmer to me. Could I be the woman he fell in love with? I see the way he looks at me lately. Of course not. What am I thinking? Oh how I wish it was me he's talking about. I would treat that man real good. I'll just have to pray on it. But Tifa is still up to her evil ways, and she's pregnant but who's the father? If it's Job's baby then maybe he will marry her to do the right thing. What if I don't stand a chance after all? And what if there is another woman Job loves? Jesus Lord, this is too much but thank you for all things. Oh God, I'm in love with patience. Help me Lord. Next week after they've prayed and fasted together for each other, unknowingly. Next day after his work. Mr. Kent, I mean Job, hi. Hi Patience. How are you doing? I'm good thank God. You? I'm much better now thank God. I'm giving you this weekend off. You are? But I need the money. I'll still pay you, triple, if you agree to come on a date with me. Please. I think I can do that. Thank you Jesus. And thank you for saying yes. Pick you up and our Lord willing? Sure. Drive safe. Yes! Okay I'm not gonna get my hopes up but this is a start. Thank you Jesus I can't believe it. I haven't been in one of these stores in a while. You see anything you like? I'll be happy to pay for it. Get whatever you want. I think I have a better idea. Wait over there. Yes ma'am. Can you please find me something elegant but attractive? Certainly. I have just the thing. If you like, we specialize in giving makeovers. Would you like a makeover? That is precisely what I'd like thank you. Lord, please remove anything evil from these clothes, shoes and accessories I'll be touching and may you bless them instead. Thank you God. In Jesus name Amen. Oh wow! Your beauty is gonna give me a heart attack. <laughs> you were already beautiful. Now you're a new kind of beauty. You think I'm beautiful? I know you are. You always have been. Let me take you somewhere special, if you trust me. I trust you job. This is a fancy place job. I would have been fine going to Burger King. This place is for special moments. Burger King are for casuals. Believe me, there's nothing casual about you. You're a special lady. I didn't know I meant so much to you. You mean much more to me than you know. In fact, I love you Patience. You love me? I do. You are the other woman I fell in love with. Patience. I love you so so much and I would love nothing more than to spend the rest of my life with you someday. As for now, will you be my girl? I can't believe what I'm hearing. We've prayed long and hard and fasted for three days. You're the woman I love patience. I need you and I can't live the rest of my life without you. Of course I will be your girl. Thank you, gorgeous. Job, I love you too. For a while actually. I'm just happy you feel the same way. I'm sorry I didn't see the perfect woman you were for me before. I will not let another soul hurt you ever again. By the way, how was work today? It was good thank God. You look so handsome on screen, but even better in person. But I gotta tell you something. Tifa's been sleeping with another man behind your back. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner, 
She made me not say anything to you or else she would fire me, as she said. It pained me to see her treating you like that. I was waiting for the right time to tell you. I hope you're not mad at me. If you don't love me anymore I understand. My love, I don't hold you accountable for anything, and yes I still am in love with you. It was only a matter of time before a modern woman like that would betray me. She never had my best interest at heart, and she don't have the power to fire anybody, only I do. I'm breaking it off with that Jezebel right now. If it helps, I put hidden cameras around the house to catch her in the act just in case she tried denying it, and she's there with her lover right now. So she's been doing this at my house? For how long? About five months. They're doing it again on your couch right now. See? I wish she would have never treated you like this, Job. You're a good man of God, you don't deserve to be treated like this. I would never treat you like that. When she asked me for help to cook your favorite dish I helped her. Then I stepped away to use the bathroom, and when I checked my phone that's connected to the hidden cameras, I found her poisoning the food saying that if you get sick she would blame it on me so she could fire me. She said she was gonna change into a better woman for you, that's why I agreed to help her. I wanted to believe her but she was being dishonest the whole time. Also, I found a pregnancy test in your trash can that same day. It was positive. So she's pregnant? Thank God it's not mine. How do you know the baby's not yours? It could be his, or yours. Because I have been practicing abstinence for five years, been with her for three. You mean you and her never? Yeah, thank God. Thank you Jesus indeed. But I'm sorry she did this to you. Don't be sorry my love. It's gonna be okay in Jesus name. All the information you just told me only makes it easier to break things off with her. Thanks for letting me know. She's such a lying whore I could never marry her. I thank God for placing you in my life at the right time. You little whore. It's been fun but I'm out. Later my guy. Baby I can explain. What's left to say when a picture is better than a thousand words? Congratulations. You showed me why God would never allow me to marry you. It's over. Pack your things and leave before I call the cops and tell them you're trespassing. Baby you don't mean that, you can't mean that. It's me you were talking to. She's the one who's trespassing not me. The devil is a liar. I'll have you know that she's the woman I love and she's not going anywhere, you are. She will be the one I spend the rest of my life with, not you. She is better than you in every way and the greatest gift a man could ask for, after God. Just because you're high yellow doesn't make you a highness. From now on you will leave her alone or I'll see to it that you be arrested for harassment. Enough talking, start walking. You, don't love me anymore? After everything I did for you? I gave you the best three years of my life. Sure I never cooked for you but at least I looked good, and complimented you on your arms. But I promise I'll learn to cook and I'll give you even better years and I'll never cheat on you again. Please don't leave me. I need you. I can't go back to where I came from. Please job, we can work this out, please babe. This is boring. Now you either get your things in 10 minutes or I call the cops. You better thank God I can't hit a woman. But I can. I got this my love. Oh I'm supposed to be scared now? You can get slapped too doggy. Just cause you got a makeover you thought you couldn't catch these hands? It must be miserable being you. And although I endure moments of bullying from you, make no mistake, I'm never afraid of you. I was only holding back turning the other cheek like the Bible says to do. Oh that's cute, real cute. You want your doggy treat now? What I want is for you to get your things and get out of my man's home. And speaking of my man, you don't get to hit him and get away with it. Not from where I'm standing. Hitting me is one thing, but him? Girl you done crossed the line. 
Patience picks up the Bible and slaps Tifa across the face with it. The Bible is my weapon after all. Did, did you just slap me with the Bible? Yep. Now I'm gonna slap you with my hand, hold still. Think twice before you hit another woman's man. Now he said what he said. He don't love you anymore he loves me now leave us alone and never come back or our police will force you away in handcuffs. Worry about your unborn child, because job is no more of your concern. Do I make myself clear? Good. Leave. Jesus loves you. Precious angel, are you okay? I'm much better thank God. But maybe hitting her with a Bible was too much. The Bible has a soft cover, she'll be fine. She needed some of the good book anyway. It's our weapon after all. <laughs> and I like how you stood up for me. Of course I'll stand up for you. You're my man who did nothing wrong. <laughs> Guess I was sick of seeing the demon get away with slapping everybody with no consequences. Slapping me is one thing, but assaulting you in front of me is where I draw the line. You deserve so much better and I pray I give you that much and more. God bless you my love. God bless you too, but let's buy a new couch though. Oh right. Almost forgot they sent this one up. And a new bed would be nice. Right? Anything for you. A new couch and a new bed will be ordered tonight. I'll sleep on the couch when you visit and you can have the bed, until we're married because I know I won't be able to keep my hands to myself until then. In that case, I will only be visiting because I don't believe in shacking up before we're married. And I'm terminating your cleaning contract because I'll transfer money to your cart. Just let me know how much you'll need. Fine. But I still want to clean and prepare your favorite meals. How am I so blessed to have you? Can't believe he kicked me out of my own house and now she's staying there. I'll call Kia and see if I can stay with her for a while. Hey. Job found out about me and Tyrone when he came home, and he kicked me out. Now the weekend maid moved in and she got a makeover. She looks real good now. But, I don't have nowhere else to go. I'm staying at this hotel for tonight but you think I can stay with you for a while until I find a job. Pick me up tomorrow. Cool, good looking out. See you. See you. I'll never get tired of your cooking, babe. Thank God, but please honey, please don't talk while eating. I love you so much Patience. You've made me an even better man. These past couple of years have been incredible with you and baby. I hope we're ready to take the next step. I need to spend the rest of my life with you. He gets on one knee pulling out a gold velvet engagement box, opens it up with a 45k pink diamond heart cut engagement ring inside. Patience Renee. Will you marry me? <laughs> of course, Job, I will marry you. Thank you, my queen. Let's see how this ring looks on your pretty little finger. It's so pretty. But you're prettier. Do you, Job, take patience as your lawfully wedded wife? to heaven to hold, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, long as you both shall live till death do you part? In Jesus' name I do. And do you patience, take job as your lawfully wedded husband, to heaven to hold, for better or worse, for richer or poorer, in sickness and in health, long as you both shall live till death do you part? In Jesus' name I do.
Then by the power invested in me in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss your bride. God bless your sacred union. <laughs> After you, my queen. How does it feel being married? Being married to you, so far, feels like a match made in heaven, my king. But give it time and I'll let you know then. <laughs> Amen to that. Babe, that looks like Chifa and it looks like she needs help. Can you please pull over? Sure. Please pull over, driver. What do you want? You come to rub it in my face you got married. It's not like that. I saw you over here in my car. You looked like you needed help, so I stopped to check on you. Are you okay? It's bad patience. Real bad. I found out my so-called friend was sleeping with Tyrone behind my back and when she found out I was pregnant for him she kicked me out of her apartment and moved him in. They got married a few months afterwards, now living in Hawaii. He was gonna pay me child support until he found out I had a stillborn delivery. I also contracted gonorrhea and genital herpes from him. Is that what that bump is on your lip? Yes from genital herpes and it's not only my lip that's infected. Then I moved back home only long enough before my mom's drunk boyfriend was touching me and I told my mom but she already knew about it. She let him stay and said I had to leave even though she knows I have nowhere else to go. Nobody loves me. Tifa, I'm so sorry you were going through all this, but I know someone who loves you. God loves you. Jesus loves you and cares deeply about you. He will never leave you or forsake you if you put your trust in him. The Bible says in Psalm 34, 18 KJV, The Lord is nigh unto them of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. That simply means that the Lord Jesus Christ, who is God, He is near to the brokenhearted, and He saves those whose spirit is crushed. Trust me, I've been there before. Don't you see? God is allowing you to go through this so that you can turn to Him with all your heart for help and salvation, and He will rescue you. God wants to be your savior, for help from a man is vain, Psalm 60, 11 to 12. God knows all about you, because he made you, even before you were born he put you together in your mother's womb, Jeremiah 1, 5. God knows you, won't you take time getting to know him? He has great plans for your life. Trust me, this journey is to humble you to God and to strengthen you. Only he can save you, not just eternally but mentally and physically, even in your state now and he will clean your life up altogether. He will heal up your diseases, Psalm 103, 3 and you can also get assistance from medication. He knows exactly what you're going through and he desires for you to make him your personal Lord and Savior. God gave us the greatest gift of all, Jesus Christ his son to die for the sins of the world, and rose again the third day, so that whoever believes in Jesus will not die but will live forever spiritually in this life and in the next, in the new heaven and the new earth, Revelation 21, 1-3. John 3:16 tells us God's plan for humanity and all you gotta do is believe because God can't lie. Have faith in Jesus and that will save you. You will begin to see your life turning around for the good because as his child you will start making wiser choices. What do you say? Why can't I be like you? I'm nobody special, Tifa. Whatever you see good in me it comes from God through the power of His Holy Spirit, because no one is good but God, Mark 10 18. By the grace of God I surrendered my life to Jesus, and so can you. With your own unique personality you will also learn to be wise, as a child of God when you place your faith in Jesus and surrender to His will for your life. Please don't ever compare yourself with others when God made us all special and unique. When you give your life to Jesus, your personality will blossom, your love will be stronger for others, and your faithfulness to God will be your first-hand nature, all while having your own personality. That all sounds good but are you sure God would want anything to do with me? I was pretty mean to you, and I'm just depressed and lost. Are you kidding me? 
He wants everything to do with you. He loves you more than you can imagine and he cares about you deeply, if you get to know his love. And besides, I forgive you. God is bigger than your past, your depression, your pain, your hate, your anger, your doubt, your fear, your shame, your anxiety, your scars, this world. Tifa, God has a purpose for your pain, a reason for your struggle, and a reward for your faithfulness. Trust him no matter what. It's going to be all right. I'm praying for you. And sorry for hitting you with the Bible. Please forgive me. I forgive you. I deserved it. This shelter I'm staying at has Bibles, and maybe the one you hit me with rubbed off on me cause now, after all this hope you opened me up to, I think I'd like to start reading the Bible for myself. You know, little by little. And hey, please see that you do pray for me. You are in my prayers. Wow, that is great news you'll start reading the Bible praise the Lord. And thanks for forgiving me. Well, I must be on my way now. I understand. I'm sorry for how I treated you. Thanks for forgiving me. Of course. Thank you patience, thank you so much. I'm happy you came to check up on me when you didn't have to. You really are a beautiful person. It's glory to God. God bless you, bye. Bye, and best wishes. So after some time Patience went to check on Tifa again at the shelter and Tifa asked Patience to pray for her right then and there, and she did. Tifa humbled herself to the Lord, believed in Jesus Christ, prayed and repented of her sins. She was saved when she believed, found a good church to attend and got baptized. Her diseases were gone, she was a more happier and positive person, depended on Jesus and evangelized with her church. She forgave Tyrone and Kia, but had no more contact with them. She asked Patience for forgiveness for how she treated Job. Patience reassured her they forgave her, which they did. They have no more communication with her and they all pray for each other sometimes. Here my love. I got you some flowers. They smell lovely, thank you. It's my pleasure. I always wanted to be on a ship. Doesn't it sort of remind you of Noah's Ark? It does. That's why I wanted to be on one. Oh, right. I have something to tell you. What is it, my love? We're expecting. I'm two months pregnant. That's music to my ears. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, indeed. Seven months later they had a healthy and beautiful baby boy. He bought a home for their growing family and she had three more healthy beautiful children for him. She was a stay-at-home mom while he got promoted to CEO at his news company. They always gave God the glory as Jesus was always center of their lives and marriage, the glue that kept them together holy happy and healthy. The end. Pride and arrogance are nasty sins which is why people often lose a good thing because of them. Let go of pride and humble yourself to the Lord, if this is you, and he will lift you up in his time. A mistake that makes you humble is better than an achievement that makes you arrogant. Remember, pride will bring you down but humbleness to the Lord will bring about your blessings. Proverbs 8 13, 11, 2, 16 18, 29, 23 and James 4, 6 KJV. Never be friends with foolish people, because you will become like them or worse, leading you to your own demise, Proverbs 1, 7, Proverbs 13, 20, Proverbs 14, 7, and 1 Corinthians 15, 33 KJV. God will see to it that you are blessed especially when you are his child, and faithful to him. He will never leave the righteous forsaken, Psalm 37, 25 KJV. Before destruction the heart of man is haughty, and before honor is humility, Proverbs 18, 12 KJV. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. Romans 12 19 KJV. Please don't hit people with Bibles. For entertainment purposes it was the case in the story. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Romans 8 28 KJV. 
God bless you all in Jesus Christ's mighty and marvelous name.